extra early this morning to get to the loop and there's a big line to get in even though we have time tickets so Once we got in, we made a beeline for the Mona Lisa just so we could get it out of the way and there's already a huge line and corrals to keep the people in order. The last time I was here, 15 years ago, they didn't have the corrals so you can only imagine what it's going to be like in another 15 years. popular even first thing in the morning there's a line of people waiting to have just a moment to take a selfie in front of the picture we're here off the side we just took our selfie and now we're actually looking at the painting which is usually the first thing you do but Probably the second most popular thing to see at the Louvre is the Venus de Milo statue. There's no line, but there's still a crowd of people around it. How, how does it feel to see uh, Egyptian Sphinx not in Egypt? Well, uh, I feel like I should ship it back to Egypt. Yeah, maybe you should grab it, ship it back. Notre Dame Cathedral and we knew we wouldn't be able to go inside after the fire that happened recently but we can't even get that close to the outside because they have this big fence around the entire thing and then they have all this um, scaffolding around it so we'll see what we can see and keep moving. After walking completely around, we got to the front and there's a little peek in the fence where you could see the beautiful front side of the cathedral. <music> Leaving the Notre Dame Cathedral behind and we crossed the river to go into the Latin Quarter. Um, we're just checking it out, the neighborhood, and we're heading towards the Parthenon. So we made a quick stop at the Pantheon, which is a mausoleum dedicated to French noblemen. And there's a crypt in the basement where you can see where they are kept.
So we went to this place called La Dorie for macarons, which they're known for. But we also got hot chocolate, thick, rich, Parisian hot chocolate. The chocolate is so rich and dark tasting. It almost tastes bad, but it's really good. This one's called Marie Antoinette. has a fruity center and crunchy bits on it. day with a stroll down Champs-Elysees and a golden hour view of the Arc de Triomphe. There's a bunch of people standing in the middle of the road trying to take a picture with it and we're one of them. Always like to see how McDonald's are different in other countries, so we got a few things at McDonald's on Shop Salazé, including potato wedges, strawberry McFlurry, this sandwich that looks like it's in a cute little brioche, and wings with bones. Mm. It's crispy and yeah, is it, is it hot like buffalo? No, it's not hot. It's Just straight wings. Straight wings, but oh. crispy. I think this strawberry McFlurry is like sorbet. It is sorbet. It's not creamy. Mm. Much better quality bread than in the States. It has all sorts of seasoning on the top of it. 